Hello and uh, welcome to another lookup function. Um, we will be discussing H lookup function for now. We we discussed uh, V lookup in the previous lecture, but now we will be discussing uh, horizontal lookup. So uh, this is the example sheet uh, for H lookup. Uh, uh, these are the students' roll number. These are the these are the subjects and these are the marks. Okay. Now what what the basic aim um, of of this uh, this lecture is? I want to fetch marks. For a uh, uh, for a student with a roll number two zero two one seven two, okay. I need the English subject mark, mathematics, physics, chemistry, computer science, okay. So uh, the uh, the only difference uh, between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP is for VLOOKUP we we looked uh, for the data vertically, and for the HLOOKUP we'll we'll look for the data horizontally. I'll just show you uh, the previous example. You remember where I was discussing the VLOOKUP? Um, I was looking for the data like employee ID, colon wise. Okay, now I'll be looking uh, row wise. Okay, uh, the VLOOKUP function used to return me the colon index number. Like I used to call uh, the the colon index number, and the HLOOKUP function I'll be using the row index number. These are these are the only two differences uh, which which we should know about VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. And uh, now let's let's just go and check uh, how how HLOOKUP works. Uh, HLOOKUP. Yeah, I'll press tab just just so that it is pretty visible to you. I'll open this one. What, what did I do? I'll, I've just clicked over here and uh, this dialog box gets opened. Lookup value always. I want this value to uh, to go uh, to to be looked into this master sheet, uh, the master table. Okay, B10. I log this. Absolute referencing because uh, whenever I uh, drag and drop the formula, I don't want this to get changed. I don't want uh, B10 to get changed because the roll number will be here in B10 only. So I don't want uh, this to get changed. So I have locked it. Okay. Uh, the table remains the same. So I log this as well. Uh, oops, sorry, I've changed in the uh, lookup value only. No, that's that's incorrect. I'll click over here again. I did this. I'll go to table array. I'll I'll check the table array. I log this as well. Now, uh, row index number for English, the row index number is two, right? So I'll click two, range lookup, false, because I want the exact value to, uh, to be fetched. I'll click, okay, Oops, we have the 87, right? So for 202172, we have 87, the, uh, the marks is 87 for English subject. Uh, let's not type in the formula time and again, uh, let's just drag and drop. If we drag and drop, see, here for English, uh, row index number two is pretty fine. That's that's okay. But if you see this, let me just zoom in a bit so that you can look. Now, if you see this, this also returns the row index number is two, but mathematics is in the row number three. So I don't want this, right? I want three. So what I'll do, I'll delete this. I'll click three. Again, I'll change this to four. I'll come down, this will become five, this will become six, okay? Now, if you just come here and check the data is correct or not, if you can see 87, 95, 96, 85, 95, 87, 95, 96, 85, 95, correct? Uh, let's uh, do a little bit of change over here. Say, for example, this is 100, this is done, this is 98, the change is there. Uh, now, um, say for example, you don't want uh, you, you want to see uh, 20269. So what I'll do? Copy this and paste it over here. The marks get changed. This is automated, right? So uh, this way you can you can compare the marks. You can look into the uh, you can you can dive into the H lookup uh, H lookup function, V lookup function. What I'll do? I'll I'll upload the upload the link to this sheet in the description uh, in the description below. So you can go and check uh, this this particular sheet and and can practice uh, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP because the next function that will be uh, will be discussing will be index and match for which you need you need to have the concept of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Till then, bye bye and have a and have a very very good day. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.